<laughs> oh, we're against this guy. Playing 27th again. I'm pretty sure the last time I played this guy was exactly on this map. With, like, this kind of setup. Except I think I was 101st and he was 27th. But from what I remember, I, I'm pretty sure I thought this guy was, like, a major noob. But then he's just, like, not a noob. <laughs> just because he deployed very passively. If it's if it's the same guy that I remember. Pretty sure this is him. Um, so we're going to attack both sides because we know he's going to be pretty defensive. At least we think so. Uh, so let's do a double GRU stinger. Good thing is he doesn't really get a lot of strike aircraft, so that's going to help me out a ton. Um, Sure, we'll just try and unload you there. We'll get the Afghansky guys to go in there. They're going to be my fighting imp. And then if I can get two of these guys in there, then we pretty much hold the place. So uh, we'll try and do that. He does have access to a bomber, but we'll see if he put it in. It's just a MiG-27 bomber. Uh... Just uh, just get one of you there in case he calls out a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, definitely gets slapped from the air. <laughs> I like divisions with notable weaknesses, though. It's kind of fun to play around them. Like, I, I do, I do enjoy it, even though it can be quite painful at sometimes. It's it's nice having like a defined weakness, and not just being good at everything, like an eighth infantry. <laughs> Where you're just strong at everything. Uh, let's see. Let's get you up there. Gotta watch out for BMP3s is the only thing. So we need plenty of ATGMs all over the place. Let's just get thick one of you. Unlikely that he'll attack here at the start, but we'll still prepare for it. Should have both of you at the ready. Most of his stuff's just really expensive, though, so I imagine he's just going to build up and then wait to attack me with a giant blob. If I had to guess. You're right there. Get one Afghansky. Uh, need a CV over here. I also need something to protect against an early recon helicopter. So we'll put you out in front. Stinger is already there, but we'll just have you for the second line, just in case. And uh, probably worthwhile to get another ATGM over here to deal with BMP3s. Since those can be an issue. And I think that's perfect. Should be just fine. Let's see. Uh, could go ahead and roll this. $2 a pop. Should be about $400 worth. Mm, we'll look at that after this game. But yeah, he's going to have all these expensive BMP3s. Everything in his deck is basically going to be probably fairly expensive, so we should have the advantage early on with all our cheap stuff. But basically, I just want to capture this and capture this and just kind of create a line of... Uh oh Well, as expected. <laughs> I thought that might be an issue. All right. No longer a problem. That was the only thing I was worried about, and sure enough, it almost killed me, because <laughs> I had my hand off the keyboard. Thankfully, not a problem. Not a problem. I'll leave that guy up there. Go ahead and get, like, a tank there. 
I want to get the... Uh, hold up a second. He's actually in here. So I'll let you both right there. And he's around the back. Alright, we do have some problems. I like it. Let's see. Ouch, go away, please. <laughs> uh, Chaka. Over there, please. I'll get some recon BND to this to get over there. Uh, he's just left this to me, which is nice. I appreciate it. Um, you, you go all the way over there. Okay, we can't quite hit that, so we're going to pull back. Just get further into the town. No reason to take unnecessary fire. And uh, we'll pull you back, just so you're not getting gunned down. So let's go help out over here. Let's, uh, let's get two of you up. Just go help with that. You guys can do more damage than he can do to you. That's a lot of EMP3s up here now, though. Switch you back again. Get in there, please. Good luck. He's got a bomber. He might take this. He seems to put all his points into the side. Nice. So yeah, we're definitely going to lose this. Uh, so we'll just go full defensive. No problemo. Time to just stop reinforcing. Be on the defense. Keep the AA back there. Alright, don't keep the AA back there. <laughs> no, let's do that instead. Let's get some more AA, and then let's get some more of you to stop him from just running down there. Alright, might get a cheeky kill on his CV. That would be kind of cool. Give me some extra points. Oh, did we get it? Oh, we got it. That's huge. That's massive. Massive kill. Let's run you that way. Let's get you right there. And let's go ahead and start getting some big old infantry squads in the tree line. Hold them back. That was such a big kill. So that gives me a nice extra... Some nice extra ticks. Well done. Alright, let's just get more tanks. And then an Afghansky for the trees. And this guy is going to, uh, that's a Metis actually, never mind. I don't really want to fool with that. I'd rather not. Let's get you over there. Get you on a return fire for now. Let's put you in there. Get one of you for everyone in there. Get you back, get you up like that. And you stay right there. We're going to get just out of that Metis range and then start firing. We're going to get all the way over there. Okay, we'll get some artillery up. And then we can start hammering his positions here. But yeah, we don't need to go crazy. There you go. Just out of his range now. you right there. Let's see, we'll get you right up there. Try and sneak some logistics to you, I suppose. Don't exactly trust that. Get you right there. Get you out here. Let's go and get two of those there. I'm going to hold off on the grads until I make sure my line's pretty secure. Last thing I want is to uh, have the grads out and then him just have a breakthrough. I mean, so much for uh, so much for recon, right? <laughs> Didn't even see what hit me there. Just put you right there at the edge. Ah, we'll get the grads up. 
Let's pull you back because the MP3s. Good thing is we basically counter their range with our stuff. Uh, let's hold up. Let's wait till the other guy gets with you. There we go. Good job. Get one more recon guy to kind of get right here. Just surround him on all sides. Oh, there he is. Right there. Alright, well, we know where these guys are firing. Right on that. And then we'll go ahead and get you up. Go ahead and send him right there. Let's go get some full ammo on the Conquerors, and then we'll run back that uh, supply. Hey, what's up, Wozmi? How are you, man? And then we need some more... Uh, here. Alright, well the cocker should be dead. Uh, so that's good. Seems to know about my GRU. Kind of painful. So we'll try and get that healed, and then we'll just run this guy up there. Let's get another recon unit here. And then we'll put him under siege. Still hasn't bought another uh, command vehicle there. He might have just forgotten. Nope. Right on, right on time. And then, yeah, this guy's kind of my AA, so... Let me keep him a little safe. There we go. We'll run this guy around. Get him all the way over here. Let's see. Let's get... Recon BMB2s. Uh, you know, could be useful just to uh, counter battery that. This guy decided to take the wrong road, but that's okay. Push this guy back up, see if he has anything else that he's going to fire at me with. Go hide you over there. Nona does not like us there. Uh, these guys need to go back and across this way. Should be able to kill that. Okay. Just go back here. I kind of want to get a Conquerors there. Pull this guy back after he fires up. Alright. Good smoke. Stay back. Let's run you back. Weave a bit. Watch out for that. Let's get you back. Get in the trees. All right. Settle down. I don't know why you're deciding to go into the enemy fire to sell yourself. Okay, yeah, the Conquest is going to kill you. That's all right. It is okay. It is okay. I fired the grad at him. Uh, let's get a little bit and deeper cover here. Just to protect yourselves. Nope. Ah, lost one. Unfortunate. Okay, now you can go. And uh, again, this reinforcement path is really trying to screw me over. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, let's get you over there. Let's start just calling him in way back there so that the reinforcement pad doesn't screw me. I'm going to pull these guys back for now. Move that again. Go ahead and put these guys on a control one. I want to get some Nona's up as well. So we'll just get some Nona's kind of around here. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see you... Get over there. Cut off that line of sight. And again, nothing really happening on this side, so I'm fine just to let all that sit there. And that can stop him from coming down the road. Готовится к 
Okay. He knows about those guys, apparently. Which means he has some type of GSR recon there, I would assume. Just go ahead and light up the metas with the, uh, the grads. Probably worth buying another supply here. Probably worth pushing you up. Let's get you up. That guy's definitely dead. There we go. Let's go this way now. And uh, I'm gonna get a gun truck just in case a uh, recon helicopter decides to just come all the way around or something. Could be useful. Just in case. You never know. Let's so, uh, just go and buy one all the way for over here as well. Just kind of put them right here, actually. Yep, you can definitely still see that. <laughs> All right. I mean, sure, I'll fire a grad volley at you. Why not? Get one more of this guy, and then we'll get another tank to help push back in here, kind of. Let's see how much ground we can take. Back over there, get you up. Okay, unfortunate, we only got one hit. Not the best. Hey, woe is me. Thank you for the uh, Prime subscription, man. Uh, how are you feeling about Dragon Metas nerf? Uh, I think it depends on what the accuracy goes to for how, how I'm going to feel about it. Like, I don't know if... Um, It's just gonna move those around. I don't know uh, what the accuracy is gonna change to, but if they give them really high accuracy at close range and kind of like tone down the minimum range, it could actually be like a maybe not a buff, but not as bad as what people are thinking. Just kind of have to see what happens. I'm not. I'm not really worried about it at the moment, though. Yeah, that guy's definitely dead. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Alright, so let's move around a bit. Let's fire a grad volley into that real quick. Keep these guys moving. Nona's, you know what to do. Just, uh, you know, keep lighting up the tank, I guess. Let's get a Metis to get in there. Here comes the grad volley. Man's about to be <laughs> yeah, <t> just <laughs> nailed. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, probably could use some AA around here. We have this gun truck. Let me try and get him over there. Start getting our thick infantry squad, so we might be able to stage a comeback into here. Get our tick going again. Feeling it. Oh yes, hello. Let's make sure we're 2v1ing this guy. Oh no. Alright, no 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 no. Way too many heroes over there. Way too many heroes over there. We're going back from that. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> no thank you. No thank you. I would prefer not. Let's see if we can run this guy in there. 
Oh. Alright, that's not good. He's actually got a ton of stuff over here. Good god. That's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff over here. Sheesh. There you go, he ran away. Alright, well, uh, I could grad that or I could just use my grads around here. I think he had guys firing, like, right there, so we'll just go and hit that. Uh, nope, they're right there. Alright, let's fire at that. Cool, cool, cool. Run, run in. He's gonna have to divert forces if he wants to, uh, counteract this. Have some AA up. And then that truck now is keeping back his helos. Let's get you guys up there. Okay, I'm actually gonna go for this helicopter real quick. And we'll try and get out of there. Should easily be able to kill that. I uh, see Chaka. Let's get you to try and run in there. You guys, let's go hit this Metis. There you go. Nice. That is a ton of stuff in here. We're not actually going to be able to defeat that. Uh, well, well, well. What do we do about this? We get back in here, but at the same time, we're going to lose the, the far right. So, uh... Yeah, not sure about that. Hmm. Not sure about that one. Let's, uh, let's just put you guys in defensive positions there. And we're back in over here. Maybe there's a clear pathway to his back zone. Should be kind of funny. But at the same time, I don't really want to do that. Hmm. Okay, you don't have smoke. That's a problem. You need to pull back. Let's get the supply there. Let's just put you right there for now. I have to lock this down with more infantry. <laughs> Good thing is these guys are in. And you know, we got a lot of T62s so we can keep bringing in the fight. Bombing run was pretty good. Let's get you right there. Let's run you up. Let's go up to there, please. Keep going back. Get even more of you just to hold here, and then we can rush the infantry across. Okay, we should have enough tanks here to be able to kill that T 80 BB. He's going to be forced to move that around. Let's just go name that guy. Try and get you there. You know, I mean, I guess good luck. He's about to, he's about to just get in the corner there. Uh, we'll try and run you guys across. That was his command. You can at least cut him off, maybe. There we go. Keep doing your thing. Go in there. Go after the T-80 BB, please. Get you up. Another one of you. You just go bomb that. Ouch. Okay, you're gonna bomb that instead. You're gonna go after that guy. You're gonna go back there. Kill it. Huge. Okay, you guys keep doing your thing. You guys pull back. You guys pull back. Hopefully get back there. I'm gonna wait on the grad for a second. Get you out. I assume we got the other T-80BB killed. No, no, we didn't. Alright, you were required. 
Let's see, Grid. I don't really want to use you until you actually use a command here. Okay, yep, this is short lived. Try and run you there. Kill that. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Should be able to get back in there now. Yeah, we got all this fire support. Uh, I don't really need this guy in there, since there's not really any value in keeping him in there. Let's see, that guy's in there now, so we'll switch. He's just running across the open after me. Let's get you guys up. HE bomber. <laughs> Try and run. Sure, where that's exactly going, actually. Oh, he's going for the infantry here. Okay, never mind. Fair enough. Uh, you're about to get smacked with RPGs. Never mind. If we can get in there, then we pretty much kill all that. And yeah, there's this tank. Might be worth buying another AT plane. These guys are basically out of ammo. All right, well, that's definitely dead. Perfect. And I think with that, that defeats any hope of him getting in there. All right, let's go and get the next AT plane, see if we can get a giant kill here. Just fly around the LGB. Might as well move this guy a little bit. That guy's dead. Okay, it's no longer worth it. That's where his tank is. Hold up. Big kill potential. Nope. Not quite. Try again. Guaranteed kill potential. And it's before he got in the zone. Nice. Even better. And uh, let's just go for you with the notice. Dodge that. That's pretty much a GG now. Go ahead and run these guys up. I'm not too worried about anything he has here. Just in case we'll go ahead and heal those guys. Maybe just run this guy through, see what he's got. Two Afghanski. Uh, two more of these guys just to get in there, even though they don't have the best AT. Unfortunately, you are dead. Put you over there. That guy's definitely dead. We'll go ahead and nail that. Start killing all his recon around here. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, he had quite the blob in the tree line there. <laughs> I kind of underestimated how much of a blob he had there. <laughs> it was actually quite problematic. Because if he would have gotten in here, it would have been kind of hard to kick him out with all our forces right here if our attack failed. So uh, thankfully had just enough stuff to be able to get back in the in the main point. Highly underestimated the, the forest blob. Okay, I'm just going to pull you back. Oh, he's got another one coming in. All right. Well, uh, CV, you can go back in the corner. You guys can just keep moving around until we find this tank again. It's right there. No. Oh, hello. It's a carry RPO. Well, let's pull back for now. Let's wait a second. Uh, let's get another one of you. Let's go over there. Send him one at a time. What are you? You're a tour? Alright, sure. Just go ahead and get that guy out of the sky, please. You go after the tour now. Close. 
Just keep you going forward, keep you guys moving up. Uh, let's see, you go after that. You go after that. Perfect. Send you up. There you go, beautiful job. That kills this command. And this guy should kill the Tor, guaranteed. Go ahead and fire a grad round into the corner. And it looks like a GG situation. Got like a bunch of weak units all over the place. Uh, let's just go ahead and get another squad view in there. So that should kick him out of the corner. Go ahead and evac that. Move these guys around. Stay honest. Get you up. Get you repair that. It's going to start moving these guys. Uh, maybe start hitting that building. Get you to kill that. Okay, we'll have to pull you all the way back. One more of you. I could use probably some more metas. This guy's been out of ammo for forever, but I just can't resupply him from that angle. Alright, let's get you two up. He's got another tour back there. Let's just go ahead and fire it where that tour probably is. It's going for the counter battery, but we've already moved. Nice. Just stay right there. You know, this guy's definitely not bad. Like, I played him before, and he was very defensive, but then he just absolutely, like, started <laughs> going ham on the attack. And he did kind of the same thing here. Like, he, you know, he had a very defensive opener. He didn't even try to contest this. He just went all in on this side. So, yeah, he definitely knows what he's doing. Definitely knows what he's doing. Oh, this guy's going to pull out of the zone for now. Let's run you up. Let's uh, start smoking these guys off and pulling them back. We don't have smoke. That AA up. Go ahead and hit that with the Nona's. <laughs> All the buildings have pretty much been destroyed here. Let's so run that guy there. Get you up. Got a lot of reinforcements back here that I could probably be using in the town, to be honest. Put two of them over there, two of them over here. Okay, let's go to review again just in case. Stay honest. Let's put those guys over there. These tanks are very heavily damaged. Pull them back for now. Get some supply over there to help them. I see that tank. I'm gonna assume I killed the Tor with my last barrage. We're actually gonna pull this guy all the way back since we have a logistics there. Try to get those guys up. Got his tank. That's huge. And yeah, that pushed us back as BMP3s. Let's just get some Conkers up. Or a just in case. And then let's get some helos. Because I don't really think he has a lot of anti air around here anymore. And hey, Glucan, thanks for the uh, subscription, man. Appreciate that. Where's that firing from? Fire again, please. Or not. <laughs> Lol. I said two Afghanski down there. <laughs> that, that isn't helpful to anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get you back. 
Okay, you safely made it. Helicopter should clean him up. Make sure you resupply those guys. Push you guys up. He's got a, yet another T-80 BBK. Lots of command tanks. I feel like I've I feel like this has to be the last one. Like I've killed so many of them. This has to be the last one. And there it goes. And now we just run over them with helicopters because all his A is dead. Well played. Well played. It's a fun game. <laughs> that was definitely the last one. <laughs> that was definitely the last one. Yeah, no, this guy's solid. This guy's solid. He's very, very good. Grad's got some good kills. I think the main thing that really helped us is our T-62s. The fact that we had the Bastion missiles really helped negate kind of his advantage with the BMP-3 once he kind of took my town. Because if we didn't have anything to really counter those BMP-3s, um, it would have kind of started stacking very quickly. I think the extra conquers and all that really helped uh, as well because I could just kind of put those everywhere. And then it was just a matter of just pushing back into the town on where he didn't have a lot of his stuff and he kind of revealed his hand that he had everything in the forest at one point. So it gave me the confidence I needed to go for it. 